to all that excitement in just a moment. But right now, we want to get to our all-star guests. Yes, today our first guests want you to know that you are not alone. Whether you're struggling with mental health or substance abuse, there is an organization that supports your journey. That's right. Today we are here with country music star JT Hodges and former NFL player Eric Decker. Welcome in, yes. guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you here. for having us. Yeah, uh, nice. Love that support. Okay, so how did you guys get involved with Fund Recovery? You want to go first? Yeah. Uh, so I met Ryan Kane, the uh, executive director of Fund Recovery. Now, I've known his family for a long time, but probably four years ago now, uh, we really uh, got to know each other. He's been a mentor for me uh, as I transitioned out of football and into you know, real life, I guess, in a sense, and just had my own uh, roadblocks and stumbles along the way. And he's been a huge, like I said, mentor. And uh, the work he's doing at Fund Recovery, I mean, it's relatable to me. Yeah. Uh, and I want to support those going through needing help with mental health. And I think it's a conversation amongst men that we need to have. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. And what about you, JT? Uh, I actually have known Ecker, Ecker, <laughs> Eric Decker <laughs> uh, for quite some time now. And uh, I, I attended an event about three years ago with Fund Recovery and was really, really inspired. Mm -hmm. I have a family member that suffers from mental health mm -hmm. and just wanting to do something that uh, I was, you know, very passionate about. Also, just just being, being involved, being an ambassador. Yeah. I've always said entertainment and sports is what can bring people together. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. And if you can make an impact like this, I mean, it's a, it's a global pandemic. And uh, uh, Fund Recovery and Ryan, and just like Eric said, learning a lot from that has been, it's been pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Really, seriously. Now, we've talked about how you got involved. We haven't really talked about the mission itself. So let's talk about that. And, and this, year, this year's focus is slightly different. Mm -hmm. A little different this year. It's at fundrecovery.org, by the way. Uh, you guys can donate there. But uh, l last year, we, we've done several events and pro football hall of famers, you know, professional athletes, musicians. I was talking about ambassadors to try to help uh, fund recovery. What it does is it raises money for people that can't afford treatment, mm -hmm. and that can be everything from therapy to uh, uh, you can look at um, if, if you need to be go straight into detox. Yeah. And there's all all different things across mm -hmm. the board, and so that's that's been important. And I'll let yeah. you. Yeah, and this year, well, let's say last year, we kind of pivoted that was last year. and. Uh, we gave the funds to the Covenant shooting community. Uh, we helped over 100 people uh, get you know, therapy through that. I mean, I, I've been through a school shooting actually in high school myself, wow. so I understand the magnitude and, and just how the effect is on kids and family members and those that go to the church as well. And so this year, you know, we're focused on the awareness of overdoses in Nashville and Tennessee as a state. We're the second amongst uh, the nation in terms of state and, and city. city. And uh, so, it's kind of a Narcan initiative, you know. And yeah. Jello Roll, if you're listening, we need you, brother. Yeah, we need you. yeah. yeah. Exactly. We need your help. Because Narcan is a life saving yes. option so that we can eliminate those um, overdose fatalities. Incredible. Love that angle. Now, I want to go back to what you said, talking about this as men. I mean, you guys are big, burly musician, NFL <laughs> guy. Why do you think it's so important to break that stigma, especially for men? I think just because, you know, uh, I always give the analogy of like technology has just snowballed in the sense of development uh, as, as a species in a sense. Think about like caveman to nowadays, like the emotions, the stress, the you know pressures amongst social uh, media, you can say amongst your career, amongst what, what our job as a man is in a sense. And so I think yeah. normalizing that, hey, we're human too. You know, we, we have pitfalls, we have struggles, we, we hit hurdles, you know, and I think it's okay, and that's the biggest thing is to say. It's okay not to be okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and to have each other's support and to know that, you know, to be a man doesn't mean you have to have a persona and, and be a certain way. Like, being a man is being vulnerable and, and being able to have those tough conversations and being yeah. a leader for your kids, for your family, for your friends. And so that's why I think it's super important for men especially to be more open with the conversation. Yeah, yeah. vulnerability is definitely strength. It's kind Absolutely. of the message. You know? Beautiful. No, okay. it, it's so, it can't be said enough. It is so important. Yeah. Um, now, to help raise these funds for these important organizations, let's talk about the two events you have coming up. Yeah. Exciting stuff. 
So we're doing April 16th, Tuesday, this next Tuesday. It's actually sold out, which is good. But yeah. Sorry, sorry for those that can't make it. But uh, we do have some uh, open slots for golf the next day. So, uh, you know, if, if you guys are out there and want to play some golf, we've got uh, 14 Pro Football Hall of Famers coming in. Mm -hmm. Eric's going to play. I'm going to play. Got, I think a few other musician buddies of mine coming out. And it's going to be a beautiful day, too. I think it's in the 80s, but Gaylord Springs. Uh, you see what the package yep. includes, you know, you get to golf with the Hall of Famer, have lunch, be there for the ceremony. Just a good reason to get out, enjoy the sun. And, for a great uh, cause. cause. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and I was saying, you know, I might not play golf, but I'll ride around that <laughs> golf cart and have a good yeah. time. Yeah, I was going to DJ. Yes, exactly. yeah. Well, Eric, I got to to expound on that uh, you said as a parent you just had your fourth child congratulations oh, what does this mean to you as a parent when you talk about mental health well I, I think you know from it, when I had my first child I think I just learned again how to be so unselfish and that the world is more than just yourself you know and I think for me part of this process uh, that I've been on this journey I've been on has been a, a spiritual growth as well so I think yeah not only as a leader in the house, but a spiritual leader, someone to come to you and be like, you know what, here are the things that uh, I'm trying to give you advice as you, you know, become an adult. Like what, what life really is about, the relationships, the love. And I think that's the biggest takeaway for my kids is that everything is about love. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm gonna love you hard, I'm gonna love you, love you good, love you right, whatever it may be, but. Um, all you need is love. All, yeah. you, need, all you need is love. <laughs> Highs and lows. Also, yeah. also that you're gonna struggle, and it's okay to struggle, yeah. it's okay to fail, it's yep. how do you get back, and you know you got your support system at the house to uh, love you. Oh. I got two little girls, and uh, one's a new teenager, and <laughs> I, I stress those same things. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's okay to fail. Yeah. It's okay not to be okay. Mm -hmm. and I can't believe you have a teenager. You're yeah. doing great. Oh, that's a tough one. Both Charlie and Delta, do your homework. <laughs> yeah, do your homework. Love Thank that. you both. Thank, Thank you. Thank you guys Thank so much you. for having us. Everyone, check out Fund Recovery's charity dinner and concert, as well as that golf tournament. It is going to be so awesome for an amazing cause. For full details, visit fundrecovery.org. And just ahead, she's an